This episode is something a little different. Normally we are heading into the remote parts of Botswana, but in this episode we will be exploring the stunning garden route. We leave Joburg and head down to Cape Town for a week. I love Cape Town and we spend seven days experiencing its magic. This is a holiday, so I didn't plan on filming anything, but just thought I would show you guys around. I must admit, it's great being back in the 200 series after only minor damage after the drowning. We leave Cape Town and head to the stunning Nature's Valley for an evening. We set up camp at Nature's. We only have one night here and the campsite is very busy over December, but that doesn't matter because the surrounding area is just magic. In the late afternoon, we see signs of the massive storms that are supposed to be hitting us over the next couple of days. Nature's Valley is a small village on the Garden Route along the southern Cape Coast of South Africa. Nature's Valley lies between the Salt River, the foothills of the Titsikama Mountains, the Indian Ocean and the Khruat River Lagoon. It's a popular destination over the December period and the campsite is really really nice. Be it a bit close to your neighbour, the bird life in this forestry area is incredible. It's great to head to the lagoon and main beach at sunset. This is in fact where the Otter Trail finishes. And you'll enjoy incredible views of the ocean and Titsikama mountain range behind. The next morning we pack up a wet tent and awning and head to one of my favorite places in this amazing country I'm privileged to call home, Storms River. There were no campsites available for the first evening, so we enjoyed one of Storms River's log cabins for the evening.
With Storms River living up to its name, we set up camp getting peppered storm after storm. But not even that takes away from this incredible view. Your equipment takes a hammering in this wind, so make sure it's tied down properly. Fortunately, the weather cleared for yet another stunning evening. Right, so the weather has cleared up, thankfully, and we are on our way to the more popular part of Storms River which is the suspension bridge at the actual Storms River mouth. We have done the boat trip before uh, out to sea as well as the tubing from upriver. Uh, the tubing is quite an extreme event. Uh, it was beautiful because you go right down the Storms River mouth but yeah it's quite you need quite a lot of experience and uh, it's a long harsh day so I've got a little bit of footage from last year when we did it but uh, then the GoPro died because smashed it into a couple of rocks certainly not the lazy river but if you are into extreme things it's a good idea do it but today we are just going to walk over the suspension bridge it's absolutely stunning one of the most iconic and beautiful views in South Africa and then we're going to take a hike up the other side of the mountain to the uh, lookout deck it's a stunning view and this whole area i mean there's some cliff faces behind me here but this whole area is the garden route national park titsikama forestry area and it is just unbelievable come down here in december normally for about 20 days and uh yeah we just love it every year so let's head to the suspension bridge. The Storms River Mouth Rest Camp is a fantastic rest camp right on the ocean front. It's a marine protected area that stretches some five kilometers out to sea, protecting a wonderland of intertidal life, reef and deep sea fish. This place is just incredible 
And the main area with the main beach and where you can hire kayaks is just full of life. The amount of activities you can do here is just insane. You will never get bored. Storms River forms part of South African National Parks Group and they are doing a fantastic job at running it at the moment. Forest are oh, just absolutely incredible. Titicama Forest, and it stretches for hundreds of kilometers along the coastline. But in the walk to the suspension bridge is just, it's just incredible. I mean, as high as the camera can see, it's just forest. And there are a lot of little spots along the way that are quite significant and Sandparks has done a good job at uh, putting up information boards to create a bit more interest in the area other than just walking it. The rooibos tea colour of the river flowing from this water source area is caused by tannins that have leached from feinbos found on the mountains. Down at the suspension bridge you can actually see where the red river meets the blue sea. We head up the other side which is extremely steep but the view is just something else.
right so uh, what a stunning view from the lookout deck the hike is quite a steep one a very steep one in fact but they do put stairs at least which makes it easier but uh, now the legs aren't quite what they used to be clearly because I found it quite tough it is quite hot today but what a stunning view eh and I mean it's only it's only three and a half kilometers from Otter Camp where we're staying maybe a kilometer and a half two kilometers from the suspension bridge and um, beach so not far but it's very steep but still stunning definitely something I'd recommend I think tomorrow or the next day we're gonna hike my favorite hike here which is to the waterfall which I think is most of the first day of the Otter Trail uh, so yeah it's a stunning waterfall a stunning view a tougher hike more in distance and tougher terrain but just stunning eh? right so that was a fantastic hike and then we went and had a fantastic swim at the beach the water is mint really really nice temperature cool enough to be refreshing but not uh, too cold to not jump in so we chilled there then we did some washing and uh, now we are enjoying the reason why we come to Storms River and that is a sea view campsite on the edge of the ocean the ocean is right in front of you 30 meters in front of you is where the waves are breaking I don't know of a campsite in South Africa like this so that's what we're enjoying there are always cracker sunsets here so yeah we're gonna fry some lacquer meat and enjoy the epic sunset at one of the most beautiful campsites Another amazing sunset as we prepare for an early morning snorkel. The water around Storms River is incredibly clear and is stacked with ocean life. Another win is the hike along the coastline to the waterfall.
Brilliant. Brilliant. Ooh. Nice water temperature as well. On the way back for a final evening next to the ocean, which certainly didn't disappoint. Life really doesn't get any better than this. We pack up and leave a campsite that has everything. It might not be as secluded as Tsenzi, but you just can't beat that view. On the way home, a great stopover is the Valley of Desolation in Camdebu National Park. Take a drive up to the viewpoint and enjoy. Thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and coming up in the next episode i head to two of my favorite places the kruger and mapungubwe national park until the next adventure cheers